back to my channel i am angela if you're new on this channel i talk about faith uh i share food i talk about fashion from time to time and i talk about all my favorite things so if it's something that you're interested in don't forget to comment like and subscribe today i'm going to share my COVID story my husband and i were diagnosed with COVID in August of 2021 this year. So I'm going to share what I believe that helped us survive and overcome COVID and I'm going to share things that I wish I knew and I wish I had done by no means that this is any COVID advice or doctor's advice. I'm definitely not a professional in this. Uh, so I'm just going to share my story. I was away in training for my new job, which was like two hours away. So I would have to get a um, hotel to, um, to stay there for the week and I would have to come home uh, most weekends, some some weekends I wasn't able to come home. But this particular week, my husband was off like four days, I think. And so when he could, he would come up there. So he came uh, four days to uh, spend with me. And not knowing it, he had COVID. He had COVID. He seemed fine when he got there. Um, we de we definitely don't know um, where he got it from. Um, we just know that it was several people on his job that had tested positive. Uh, so, you know, you just can't pinpoint that one person or that one thing. So, he came and we had a beautiful four days, but like maybe like that third day he started you know feeling bad he started complaining about chills like he was he was cold and he wasn't feeling well and i sleep with the air condition on all the time but even when i didn't have the air on he still was saying that he was cold and he wasn't feeling well so um he left the next day to go to work. Still not feeling too good. But he went ahead on and went to work. And that morning he called. He was like, babe, um, it's a guy, it's a couple of guys down here. They think that they've been exposed to COVID. So they're going to just send everybody to get tested. So I knew that he wasn't feeling well. And I started getting nervous. And I was like, oh, Lord. But I was feeling fine. I didn't have any problems. But I had to be at work um, late. I think I had to be at work at like 10. And so I called my job and I told them that um, people at the job, they're getting tested. And um, Michael already not feeling well. So, uh, sorry, something was in my eye. And so should I wait for his results? And it was like, yeah, wait around for his results. Michael was at the clinic, oh my God, all day. And it's like, it was the longest time ever. <laughs> I was like, so I waited, waited, waited. Um, pacing the floor, praying, God, let him be negative, let him be negative, let him be negative. Michael was positive. Michael was positive, so I had to pack up all my stuff. Could not go to work. Had to pack up all my stuff and come um, and come home. So now we're quarantined. I'm thinking that Michael is just um, positive and not me. And I'm thinking, um, I don't know why. I thought I was negative again, maybe because I didn't have any symptoms. I did not. And Michael just, he had chills and he's, he's, he was kind of achy in his body, but it wasn't anything like major, you know. And 
The next day, I went and got a COVID test, and my test came back negative. I got a uh, one of those rapid tests that I had to pay for, and it came back negative. Okay. I'm negative. So now that I understand how it's negative, because Michael has been with me the whole four days, sleeping in the same bed, breathing in each other's face, kissing, kissing, lovey, lovey, all of that good stuff. And I'm like, I'm negative. I'm like, oh, okay then. So now I just got to take care of him. So I'm negative, trying to make sure Michael was okay, and he started going down pretty fast. He started not feeling good. He started being really irritable. Um, just kind of withdrawn, emotional, all of that. And it was tough the few days. And then I get the dreaded call. Miss Bell, you're positive. I'm like, I'm feeling fine. Nothing is worse. I'm not running a fever. None of that. And I get the call that morning that I was positive. But for some reason, I started thinking back. They, they kept saying, sometimes the tests are really negative, but you're positive. You, you might be positive. You know, all the things that they, you know, spill to you like they wasn't sure. And to me, that is how people spread it. They spread it um, thinking that they're negative and they're actually positive. Um, and the tests come back, okay, they done been around everybody, but you said I was negative. And, but thankful to God that I didn't go around, you know, people, you know, with my whole positive COVID self, you know, thinking that I was okay. Because the kids had start start uh, stopped coming over, you know. I just wanted everybody to be safe. So now we really quarantine. When I tell you, literally, <laughs> the day they told me I was positive, it's like I got sick. But the whole time, I never stopped taking my vitamins. I never stopped taking my vitamins. I never stopped taking my vitamins. And that is the one thing that I believe that helped me is that um, during this whole pandemic, I just start amping up my vitamins. And I think I show in a video some of the things. Um, this is one. I take fish oil. It's one. I've always taken the uh, one a day. I take one a day. And I start taking these, and uh, it's the airborne. It helps the immune system. I take, I take that. I always take uh, the vitamin E for your heart, for heart health. I take that one, and then I start hearing about the elderberry for your immune system. So I start taking that one. Those are the vitamins that I had started taking pre-COVID. Um, I started like kind of building my immune system up, and I believe that is what helped me. And my I got had started Michael to taking a uh, men's one a day. Uh, I think that um, that is uh, what helped him out. I literally got a cramp. In my foot. Oh. Give me a minute. Okay. Now one thing that. I don't want. That really really hurts. I'm trying to talk to y'all. And ease this foot cramp. Out. Okay. One thing that I believe that helped Michael uh, too was this right here, the zinc. It I believe it has started um, helping Michael as well. So those are the vitamins um, that we have started taking. Now I wish that Michael would have started taking his vitamins early. Um, 
so he wouldn't wouldn't have uh you know got so sick. now his he never was down like um like needed any you no know, to go to the hospital or anything like that neither one of us did but um michael already has like you know health problems already so um he had to, he was a little bit more sick than he was uh, letting on and that he wanted me to believe. Uh, and it worked with Michael's mental more um, so than mine. One, Michael is an outdoor man. He's a country man. He likes to be outside. And for him to have to be in the house 10, 14 days, um, that was a lot. That was a lot on him. Um... And, you know, you you just don't get prepared for, you know, stuff like that or things like that. I, I don't think it's too much that we could have done to prepare other than, like, building our immune system up a little bit more um, with vitamins and, you know, doing our, doing our best. But during COVID, uh, this is your friend. Water, water, water. Because you don't have a taste, you can't smell. So only thing you can do is just chuck up on liquids. Water is your friend that helped um, us. Orange juice was Michael's friend. Um, orange juice like really messed with my acid reflux, and I can drink. I, what I did drink was um, cran real cranberry juice. Now that helped helped me. And orange juice helped Michael. Whenever I would kind of get nauseous and not feeling well, I would um, drink a lot of this stuff right here. Ginger ale, I would drink a lot of um, ginger ale. Um, keep everything as sanitized as possible. Whatever you touch, make sure you keep it sanitized. Uh, make sure that, you know, you keep everything nice and clean and wiped down and sanitized. You really can't take any medicine before the aches and pains. What we did do was plenty of Tylenol and rub downs with alcohol. So green alcohol just always been did it for us. And that those are things that we use. Tylenol green alcohol and above all of that um this is my uh prayer shawl prayer pray for god's strength pray for god's covering pray for god's protection against what's taking place in your body get plenty of sleep because really that's all you can do because your body is trying its best to fight off this virus to fight off this unknown thing that's in is inside of your body. So just sleep. I know you put people like the bed gonna take your energy, but sleep is healing. Sleep is your body is restoring itself. Your mind is restoring itself. Pray and let your spirit be at rest. Ask God to keep your mind and cover your mind through uh through this sickness. And I guarantee that um if it's God's will, you will come out on the other side. That is my COVID story. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. Share the love. Share the love. Share the love. Whatever you do. Love God. Love people. Serve God. Serve people. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.